Hey there YouTubers, JB Coins with another of our videos. This one is an interesting one. Um, those of you that watched our video from two weeks ago, um, uh, the $500 quarter box, uh, it does matter where you live, we had 80 some quarters that we wound up keeping. What we didn't show you two weeks ago in that video because we wanted to get more information, we wanted to get it right. So we took the two weeks to do research on this quarter to try and find out exactly what it was, exactly what it would be called, and whether or not there were any in the marketplace for sale or at the grading companies that we could compare it to or were we the first. As of the shooting of this video on August 11th, 2016, we have not found another coin of this type with this uh, variety, with this uh, issue. This is, as you can obviously tell, is the front of the coin. And you can see on Liberty, In God We Trust, the mint mark, and various aspects of the coin that certain parts of the coin are, are very weak. The details, I'll move my hand here and try and create a little shade. There you get a little more contrast. You can see a lot of the coin is weak. It's, it's basically a weakly struck coin on this side. Um, the big deal is the back, and this is what we devoted all the time to. This is the reverse of the Harper's Ferry 2016 P, or Philadelphia. What we found out, what we noticed immediately on all three coins, but this one being the most obvious, you can see that the rim, the border rim, stops about there it disappears i mean you can see the change in color but it disappears the bottom half of the coin the date itself is slightly smudged the lettering is very unclear but more importantly this bottom half of the rim is gone and the housing the the part of the structure of Harper's Ferry, John Brown's Fort, that's here and also on this side here. If you look at a crisp example, they look like the tops of the windows of the carriage house or the, of the fort here. They're normally very crisp. On this example, they're almost gone. So we tried PCGS. They didn't have any help for us. Uh, they didn't know anything about a, an example of this and they weren't willing to grade it or give attribution based on uh, this uh, coin not being a proof coin. They suggested that I get a hold of um, the Cherry Picker's Guide. So that's what we did. We got a hold of J.T. Stanton, uh, the co-author of Cherry Picker's Guide, and uh, he was very gracious and asked me to take pictures and send them to him, uh, which we did. and. Uh, what we got back from him was, uh, and I'm going to read this to you so that I get it accurate. It appears the coins were either weakly struck or struck from worn dies. In both cases, it is very common. It is just not quite so common to have this much of the image missing. Not rare, though. <laughs> the large amount of the image that's gone is what's unusual. And that's what stood out to me when I, when I flipped this coin over and saw it. I just stopped what I was doing. I stopped shooting. I stopped going through the coins because this is, it's glaring. Right there you can see that it's almost like they never imprinted it at all. Um, so we uh, wanted to get this to you as soon as we could. Obviously two weeks is a long time. Um, I'm surprised that as of today, there's still nothing out there that I can find an example of this. Uh, I wanna thank JT for uh, willingly uh, helping us out and uh, wanted to get this to you so you could see it and start looking for it. There are variations of this where the rim on the bottom still exists and the side buildings are weak. Um, We've got, I think, two examples of that. The front and back both exhibit the weak strike uh, 
some folks call it blasted. Uh, it's not really a coin term, um, but it's out there in, and it just, um, you know, that was in a box of circulated coin. So if you find a box or a roll of Harper's Fairies, your odds go way up. Um, I think we had probably 20 examples to go through and found three um, that were this being the best and two that were almost to this point. So keep an eye out for them, guys. I have no idea what they're worth. Um, probably not a fortune, but, you know, uh, if somebody finds one and puts it on, you know, the market somewhere for sale, we'll find out what it's worth. But we're going to keep this one. This one goes in our private collection, and uh, we just think it's very cool. Till next time, please like, share, subscribe. All those things help keep the channel going. We really like the comments and the suggestions. And we hope you like the information we're putting out here. Till next time, JB Coins, signing off.